loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? My name is Lisa. Definitely make sure you subscribe. In today's video, I will be going through my in-depth skincare routine with you guys. Basically explaining every product that I use, why I use it, and stuff like that. If you're interested in seeing what my skincare routine looks like, then just keep on watching. So it's morning right now, um, so obviously I'm going to be doing my morning skincare. I just took a shower i went to the gym and everything so i cannot wait to wash my face let me just put these back here out of the way so for my cleanser i use the ordinary squalene cleanser looks like this i'm like running low <laughs> need to buy a new one and i basically just wet my face and then put some of the cleanser on my hand and just go ahead and cleanse my skin when I first got this, I was really confused by it because as you can tell, it's not really a like foaming cleanse or anything. It's very milky and like watery. And I was kind of like, okay, I'll just use it up and then I'll get a different one. But honestly, even though I don't love the texture, it does do its job really well. Like obviously every now and then I have like breakouts and like hormonal breakouts, but it's worked really well. So I don't really feel the need to actually get a different one. And for my morning skincare, I really like to just keep it easy and like straight to the point i like to go more in depth like at night time so after cleansing i go in with my toner which is this one from sukin this is their oil balancing clarifying facial toner and i just put a little bit on a cotton round and put this all over my face and sukin is also a very like natural skincare brand i've been using a lot of the ordinary because it's like pretty straight to the point like no crazy ingredients and it's also quite affordable, actually very affordable. And then Sukin is a little bit higher up in the price, but still not too expensive, but it's also like a natural skincare brand. So I really like that. So now I'm going in with the Ordinary Caffeine Solution. Honestly, don't know if this actually does anything, but I'm just using it up. I am kind of looking for more of like a moisturizing eye cream because it's not really an eye cream. It's more like an eye serum almost. Um, but I've just been using it. I don't know if it works. I like to think it does. <laughs> it's supposed to help with dark circles. My dark circles are really bad and I don't feel like it's gotten any better since using this, but it's fine. If you have any suggestions for good eye creams, let me know. Then I'm going in with the Ordinary Niacinamide and Zinc Serum or whatever you want to call it. If I'm shaky, I'm sorry. I just worked out and I did my arms, so like they're so dead. Put some of this my hand work it onto my skin i don't know on the top of my head what all these the ordinary products do but before i ordered it i did look it all up so i know it like does something that i need if you are looking into buying stuff from the ordinary definitely just make sure to like kind of read about every single product and then figure out what, what you want to use then i'm going in with an oil i like to use an oil before moisturizing just because like i'm oily but i still want to like have this like glowy and like moisturized base if that makes sense and using an oil underneath my moisturizer has really helped make my skin less oily and just like i don't know it just looks really good so i've recently started using the honest beauty facial oil i just put a couple of drops of that into my hand and then just work it onto my face i try to do upward motions but Honestly, like I always forget so I'm not gonna fake it and act like I do that all the time I also just do a lot of padding motions because sometimes like some of the, the ordinary products get quite get quite sticky So it's kind of hard to rub a product on top of it. As you can see I now have like this amazing glow on my skin Then I go in with the Garnier Bio like anti-aging. I guess it's like a day cream or like a moisturizer Pretty sure this is supposed to be more like a natural line of Garnier skincare and it's been working fine like I just kind of needed something quick because my moisturizer ran out and so I went to the drugstore and I saw this and I was like mm, I'll try it I like anything anti-aging because it's moisturizing which when I was younger like I used to always go for mattifying products because I was like oh I get oily and I need to stay as mad as possible but actually using like moisturizing products makes my skin less oily because it's just like dehydrated so when it's dehydrated it gets more oily and then when it's hydrated the oils aren't as bad if you feel like products aren't working for you and you can't see by like mattifying products then definitely just have a look at more like moisturizing 
thicker creams, oils. I'm now going in with my SPF, which is this one from Biodermal. And it is an SPF 50 or 50 plus, but like, I don't know, I don't care. It's like, I wouldn't necessarily need it, but like, it's just better for your skin. So I used to not use SPF because I was like, I don't burn ever. But it's actually just like really good just to protect your skin. There you go. And I have to definitely pat this one on because when I rub it, it just kind of doesn't work really well with the ordinary niacinamide stuff that I put on. And it starts like kind of rolling up and there's like weird stuff on my face. I'm just going to put on some Carmex and brush my brows. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to grow them out. So they're a little wild. That's pretty much it for like my morning skincare. I try to keep it just like simple. Don't do anything too crazy. I mean, it is like quite a few products, but like it just works kind of together. And you know, it just became like a routine. So it's like really quick to put on and just like straight to the point. And now my skin's like ready to go for makeup or just like no makeup. I'm probably, well, I am wearing makeup today, but I'm putting it on later. So, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys tonight when I take off my makeup and do my nighttime skincare. <laughs> So it is now nighttime and my makeup has been on for a while. It's starting to get kind of oily. Still honestly looks really good for me having this on like all day and not having blotted or repowdered. But I am ready to go ahead and take off my makeup. First thing I want to do is obviously take off my makeup um, or at least like remove most of the makeup. So the two products I like to use for this is a cleansing oil and then a micellar water. The micellar water I usually start with to like take off my brows and my mascara just like pretty much my eye makeup. This is by Ivy Aya A. I'm not really sure. And then this Bobbi Brown cleansing oil I've been using for a while. I've had this for a really long time and at first I wasn't really sure how to use it, but I actually figured it out now. Like you basically put this on your hands, activate it with water, and then like it just melts off your makeup. So I absolutely love this and I just wipe it off with a washcloth and the micellar water I obviously use with cotton rounds. But um, yeah, so this is the Bobbi Brown one. I did see that this brand also sells a cleansing oil. So probably when I run out of my Bobbi Brown one, I might go ahead and purchase that one. So I'm first just going to take off my eye makeup. Oh, I'm probably way too rough on my eyes, but oh well. Also find that this doesn't really burn my eyes too much, like just a tiny bit. But like nothing too crazy. It doesn't have any perfume in it or anything. I really like this brand. It's like vegan. It's allergy certified, no perfume. It's made in Denmark. It's a Danish brand, which I think is cool. You know, I like trying out brands that I've never really heard of before. And I also really like their packaging. Not sponsored, by the way. I wish it was. <laughs> it's really hard to do this without making really ugly faces. I want to try to limit them because when I go back in to edit, I want to just edit it all out because it's just like so bad. Like usually I no idea i was making these faces but when you start to film everything you do you start to notice different habits and different things that you do i kind of need something to tie my hair back Let's see if this hair tie works just to kind of get it back like that looks kind of crazy basically what i'm gonna do is pump some of this in my hand add water and then i'm gonna like put out my face I usually do about like two to three pumps and try that a little bit As you can tell, it like breaks down all the makeup and I am wearing foundation today, so it's like really good for breaking down the makeup and it's just better than using um, makeup wipes. And then I just run my water and I put it on like kind of warm and then wipe it off with a washcloth. Oh my god, I'm so pale now. <laughs> Now I'll be going back in with my cleanser again. This thing is really running out and I need to buy a new one. I might just end up buying another small one tomorrow because I'll need to buy this other big one, but I don't think it's going to come in time before this one's out. Whenever I've worn makeup, I do like to go in with a facial brush. Besides that, I don't use it anymore. Like I used to use it like twice a day, but I've stopped doing that. So this is one by Philips and I'm not sure about the exact name, but I'll leave it down below. So now I just quickly want to talk about face masks and stuff like that because obviously I don't do this every night and I don't do it as often as I should but it is part of my routine so I'm just gonna 
run you through the masks and like peeling I only have one peeling solution but i'm just gonna run you through those and then i'm going to choose one and put it on and yeah so firstly i want to talk about clay masks and i have is this a clay mask well not really um i have two actual clay masks oh my god one of them is from the dino which is a dutch brand and this is just a green clay mask and i also have one by teamy blends and that's a detox like green tea clay mask and then i also have this mask from lush which is the mask of magnanimity i think that's what it's called I um, also really like this one. It's really great for like doing some scrubbing. And then whenever I feel like my skin needs some extra hydration, I like to put on like an overnight mask. I have one from Origins, which is the overnight hydrating mask with avocado and glacier water. Really, really like this one. And I also have one from Holica Holica, which is a watermelon aqua sleeping mask. And these just like do a lot of moisturizing, which I definitely sometimes feel like my skin needs. Um, so yeah, they're great and they're like really quick and easy to do. The last mask I have is the Ordinary Salicylic Acid 2% Mask, which is the one that I'm going to be putting on right now. So my battery is dying, so let's hope I can still get this on camera. Um, I basically just apply this with like an old foundation brush. I have this brush. This was my very first like makeup brush ever. And I use it for masks and it's great, so... camera cut off before i was able to say this but i'm going to leave this on to dry and then i'm obviously going to be back rinse it off and finish off my skincare okay so my mask is rinsed off i always go ahead and brush through my brows in between because i'm like trying to grow them out so they're quite wild <laughs> so i need to like tame them in between um okay so mask is done and now it's time to tone again and i'm just going to use the same toner that i used this morning just putting this all over and I always run this down my neck as well. Most of the time, I still have makeup on my neck. <laughs> I'm pretty bad at removing that, but then when I shower in the morning, like I just kind of make sure to wash it off. And I'm just going back in with the caffeine solution from The Ordinary. Bring this underneath my eyes, kind of on there and on my brows. I don't know if this does anything, but you know, it's whatever. And then I like using The Ordinary Green Active Retinoid 2% Emulsion. I don't know on the top of my head what this does, but I do remember before purchasing everything, I like looked it up and I don't know, I like how this feels on my skin. So I just work this on there as well. It's really sticky, so after a while, you should just pat it. And then as my oil for nighttime, I like using the 100% organic cold pressed rosehip seed oil from the ordinary as well and i just put this is very oily so like you don't need a lot at all you definitely do not need a lot i just put about that much and just put it onto my skin i forgot to talk about this this is the ordinary aha 30 percent and bha 2 percent peeling solution i have used this a couple of times um I'm not sure if it has done anything i feel like it was my skin got a little bit irritated from it but i haven't used it enough to like really have an opinion and i also haven't used it like frequently enough so yeah maybe in like a vlog later on i will continue talking about this if i have like more of an opinion on it but i do have that as well and then there's two more products that i just want to talk about so the first one is this isle of paradise self tanning drops i got this in a pr package once and I didn't know if it was going to, hello, can I focus? I didn't know if this was going to work for me because obviously like I'm not white, but like my my face gets quite pale fast. I did um, get a tan recently though, so I'm not, like I have a little bit of color in my face now, but this actually works really well. So whenever I feel like super, super pale, like my face is like always lighter than my body and I want to kind of make it a bit darker, I mix this in with my moisturizer and it's it works really well. It does kind of give more of like an orangey tint, but like, for every now and then it's like fine so it's definitely something fun to try out and then lastly which i don't think i'm gonna need right now maybe i do okay maybe i will use this actually so i have the revolution overnight targeted blemish lotion basically just looks like that this is pretty much a dupe for the marbidesco drying lotion but i actually feel like this works better so i've had the drying lotion for a while and i like used it i didn't ever actually feel like it was doing a lot i need to 
be close up to the mirror for this because I can't see anything. Just putting this on a couple of spots on my face that I see that are active. The camera definitely doesn't pick everything up. Like my skin looks really, really good on camera 99% of the time. But when I like do a close up, like you'll see my actual like blemishes and scars. But yeah, this product really, really helps actually. Like I feel like it works better than the Marbadescu one. And obviously my lip balm, oh, I put on quite a bit. Um, and then sometimes I also go in and put black Jamaican castor oil on my brows. Um, but I don't feel like doing it right now. Just kind of help grow them out. But yeah, that's pretty much it for my nighttime skincare. And that also concludes my whole skincare routine. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe. Also, make sure to turn on my post notifications so that you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. And I'll see you in my next video.